All right, so this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well a uh, Leo Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading October 12th to uh, October 11th, 2020. And um, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading or uh, you want to take uh, one of my tarot classes, in regarding to both things, you're going to find a information in the description down below. So with that being set aside, let's move to the good stuff and see what you have to experience uh, throughout the week itself. And uh, the spread is eight, card, eight cards, I'm sorry. And the upper half of the spread is going to describe your uh, love and romance throughout the week. And the bottom half is going to touch on your professional unfoldment and as well uh, your career. So with that being said, let's uh, let's look into the cards. Now the first one, oh wow, that is going to be the Princess of Pentacles. Oh, that, that's very interesting. Uh, followed by the Tree of Cups. Uh, now there is no question about it to me, especially for those that are single, is that we are talking about somebody that you are already close with. And that uh, this week is going to be a turning point into the vision that you both have for each other. Okay. So we do have the Eight of Swords. And the last one, it's, yeah, we definitely are talking about a, a friend or something like that. We do have the Six of Swords at the end. Uh, in terms of uh, your career, the first one is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. After that, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is the definition of put yourself a breaks, okay? Uh, and we're gonna get into that in a few minutes. Uh, then we do have the four of wands and the last one is going to be the nine of wands. I mean, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the relationship part first because let's face it, most of you are here to, to, to um, here just uh, for love and I don't wanna bore you with uh, things that you know you don't want to know about. So in terms of love, uh, classic here with the Page of Pentacles and the Tree of Cups, it talks about a friendship that it's, uh, it is a friendship, but it can be so much more than just a friendship. And that is the problem with the Tree of Cups into the, into the second position. I'm sorry, I got a little bit excited here, Leo. It is that the vision, it's, it's not like it's not accurate, but it needs to be changed. It is just is not the proper vision that you both need to have upon the relationship you do have in between each other. And this week, as we do have the Eight of Swords here into the third position, pretty much the universe, if you will, is going to push you both into talking about that vision, into talking about the perspective that you can be more than, than than what you are right now or in other words with the eight of swords here you are go you both under you i mean you both are gonna talk about bringing down the wall that it is keeping you from not progressing forward with that individual now if you are in a relationship that is also going to take place but not with a friend but with a person you are with okay so the person you are with is just you know you're going to um obtain a bigger vision that the devotion is much bigger than actually you both are making it to be and from there you know that devotion can grow and with it the relationship is going to grow okay well it could play out as well like you are in a relationship and you do have a friend that want to be with you and you decide that you know it's much more beneficial for you to be with your friend than with your uh than with your partner it's possible to develop that way as well but in in such a case we're talking about affair right it's close to mind and if you're and at that point you do have a decision to make which is going to be a tough one as we can see here with the six of swords but nonetheless what the point is it is that you do have an option it is just only if you are not stubborn not to see it for the eight of swords in that position points to that if you think you do not have an option it is because you are ignorant to see what the option is or you do know what the option is it's just you don't want to believe that that can actually be an option for the eight of swords stands as if you if a, a, a truth is what makes you free then tell me what the denial of it makes you right 
uh, it's one of my uh, most favorable phrases as it comes to tarot. But in any case, what that leads you by the end here is the Six of Swords. And uh, Six of Swords, for you at least in that particular uh, stance, stands, a is standing for the um, barrier that you have to traverse and how the whole thing here is going to develop it is believe it or not entirely within your hands because the six of swords in that particular case speaks for the leap of faith and do you have the strength the guts and the courage above everything else to make it well that depends entirely on you for it's going to be frightening and do you have, you know, the strength within you to overcome the fear and give that vision a room to grow or you are going to end up afraid and you're going to stick to what already is known? Well, that depends entirely on you. Just so you know, the cards are encouraging you to give it a go. OK. For it's going to be a long lasting and as well, it's going to be a constantly growing thing. So uh, that was uh, your love and relationship um, as something that I would have had for my reading as well. But alas, uh, Scorpio didn't have that luck. In any case, uh, career wise, it seems that, um, well, I don't want to loiter you around. These cards are pretty much pointing that you just had done enough. All right. And now it's time for you to recognize that or it's, uh, it's up for you to recognize that it is time for you to stop. For uh, with these two pushing as hard as you were pushing by now, it's just going to be unproductive. In fact, it's not going to be detrimental, but it will just going to be a waste of time, of resources. You just name it. And as well, a waste of opinion. For uh, with the Nine of Pentacles having it here, you're just going to teach those around you that you are an errand boy, that you can do anything, whatever you, is told to you, it goes, uh, and etc, etc. And with the Seven of Pentacles into the first position here, the card urges you to take a break, not just only to recuperate and to replenish, but also to think carefully, is what you're doing Repay, is repaying to you accordingly and if not then what you can do to change that for if you do not have the answer to that question right now seven of pentacles is also a sign that some kind of a decisive event is lurking behind the, hor the, the corner i'm sorry it could be a job offer you know it could be something within your current job that will allow you to excel or it will be a red flag that you need to acknowledge as well uh, because the uh, Four of Wands is a pretty much a sign that you have finalized your cycle of development and of growth wherever you are right now, and you have to put into um, you have to put into question what you are gonna do from now on, how you are going to cash in on the everything accomplished thus far. For at the end of the week, um, your how can I say your experience and as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, your professional experience is to be questioned, but it's not. But it's not going to be questioned by your job, but but by the universe, or in or in other words, it will be questioned how much you do worth, right? And for how much more you can go from there with uh, with the nine of wands. So, I do hope that you, Leo, are going to. I know that you are a passionate star sign. I know that you do not shy away from a challenge uh, and it is not beneath you, but it is just it's not in your nature to walk away and to stop when you do have a path forward. But in this particular case, it is the best thing to do. It is the smartest thing to do, in fact, because just and I'm sorry guys there are some people outside I don't know why people are gathering beneath my window and they are shouting all day around it's just preposterous but it's just how how it has to be so 
uh, the, with the four of wands, I just lost my uh, my thought. So with the four of wands, the card here into the third position, it points that you already have attended to everything important. You finished it, finalized it, and that is why your cycle of growth is going on. Uh, it's ended. And even if you observe the card more closely, just look at it, it kind of points to a, a rotating um, a rotating wand, for it is how... If you have studied physics, you will know that when you rotate the wand with a or with a stick with a specific speed, it kind of takes you know it kind of you you're looking it into frames, and this is what that card that depicts, and it forms a circle of power, and now it is up to you to decide how to direct that power in what to engrave that power right in terms of a professional development so needless to say it's a fantastic time for you to start thinking of your own thing private business okay uh, a, a personal job etc etc for uh, according to these cards you're not gonna get richer pushing the same direction that you have pushed thus far at least not throughout this particular week so with that being said um this is your weekly general tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye <laughs>